Welcome to this message of encouragement. Today we're going to be talking about what we need to do when troubles hit our life. Before we get started, I'd like to ask that you please remember our leaders in prayer. Also this upcoming election, please be praying for those that are in positions of authority for the nation of Israel, for those that are sick, for those that are in the hospital, for other Christians, for the lost, for those that's lost a loved one or lost a pet. And I'd also like to ask that you remember those that are in the nursing homes, assisted living, and those that are facing surgeries and, and other difficulties in their life. Because many, 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 many people are in very much in need of prayer. And I just, you know, ask that you please remember these people in prayer because prayer is so powerful. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8 and 9 says, We all have troubles around us, but we are not defeated. We do not know what to do sometimes, but we do not give up the hope of living. We are persecuted, but God does not leave us. We are hurt sometimes, but we are not destroyed. This is a very important scripture, because you know, so many people, they, they really... They really miss things in life. Like when someone actually hurts them, they, they do feel destroyed. And the scripture says, you know, we are hurt sometimes, but we're not destroyed. We're not to let something destroy us when somebody does hurt us. And also it says, you know, that everybody has troubles. It says we all have troubles. And I've heard different ones saying, well, such and such is living a carefree life. They don't have these troubles or have this, that, and the other going on. When, you know, we, we do all have troubles. Of some kind, we have some type of trouble. Satan is coming against us all. And it's just some people handle, you know, handle these attacks differently. And also, we have to remember that when things do come against us, we don't know what to do a lot of times. But we must always remember to never give up the hope of living. Because sometimes I know, you know, different people are like that. They'll say, well, you know, what's the point in living? This is happening. This is happening. Nothing is going to ever get better. And people should never feel that way. Because like I said, we don't know what to do sometimes, but we depend upon the Lord and we wait upon the Lord for His answer. And we never, never give up that hope of living. Psalms chapter 138 verse 7 says, Lord, even when I have trouble all around me, you will keep me alive. When my enemies are angry, you will reach down and save me by your power. God is our protection. He is always our protection. God knows who trusts in Him, and God will protect us if we allow Him to protect us. In John chapter 14, verse 1, Jesus says, Don't let your hearts be troubled. He says, Trust in God and trust in me. Because God has given all things, all things over to Christ Jesus. We are to put our trust in in Him, as well as in God. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 16 says, I will guide them along paths that they have not known. I will make the darkness become light for them, and the rough ground smooth. So, so we're being told here that we're going to be led out of our comfort zones a lot of times, and that we should continue to trust God and follow His path and direction because God is our, our leader um, and, and He will show us all paths to take. He he's our, 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 gives us our leadership, guidance, and direction. Romans chapter 8 verse 28 says, We know that in everything God works for the good of those who love Him. They are the people He called because that was His plan. So we've got to always remember all things will be worked out for the good of those who love God. Even though things come against us, no matter what comes against us, or how Satan you know, attacks us, that God will turn this around for the good of those who love Him. Psalms chapter 121 verse 1 and 2 says, I look up the hills, but where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, who made the heaven and the earth. 
So we should never, never look around. This scripture is telling us to never look up, down, left, right for help from other people. We should always look for our help from the Lord. The Lord will lead and guide our path, and it will be the right path at the right time. He will supply that every need at the right time. To never, never put your trust or your faith or, or you know, look for another human being to be your uh, emotional rescue or, or to, to rescue you from financially or, or from any type of devastation. You should never look to another human being to do that because they have troubles of their own and other human beings will oftentimes be a great disappointment to you. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7 says, Give all your worries to Him because He cares about you. And I know that so many have heard this preached on to give all your worries to the Lord, but please remember this. A lot of times when you're praying about something, you, you pray about it, pray about it, pray about it, but you forget to give God this worry. And if you don't let it go and just literally say, Lord, I can't handle this worry. I give this worry to you trusting and believing that you will take care of it. If you don't don't give this worry that you that you're praying about to God, it will slip up on you and the next thing you'll know, you you'll won't be able to figure out why your prayer is not being answered. And and it will be because you haven't given that worry or that care to the Lord. Don't hang on to it. That's an important part of getting your prayer answered. You must let go of that care and let go of that worry as you're, you know, praying about it. You've got to let it go and give it to God. Matthew chapter 6 verse 34 says, So don't worry about tomorrow because tomorrow will have its own worries. Each day has enough trouble of its own. So this scripture is telling us, you know, live one day at a time. Don't be trying to get through today and tomorrow and next week and what you're going to be facing next month. To just live one day at a time, getting through one day at a time, because for one thing, we're not promised tomorrow. So, you know, why, you know, fit out over something that may happen a few weeks down the road or something you may be facing when, you know, that, that may be taken away from you. But, you know, either way, you know, if you have to face it, you just face one day at a time and God will see you through one day at a time and strengthen you to get you through two weeks down the road. But you have to start it out one day at a time, trusting and believing. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7 says, Do not worry about anything, but pray and ask God for everything that you need. Always giving thanks. And God's peace, which is so great we cannot understand it, will keep our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. So here, you know, we're told we've got to pray for everything and ask. We're told to ask and we shall receive. To knock, the door shall be open. To seek and we shall find. God will bless us with opportunities. He will open doors. He will bless us with our heart's desire if we will serve Him and be faithful to Him. He will supply our every need and even give us an abundance of riches if that's what so our heart you know, desires. He will also give us great wisdom. But we must, must serve God. He must be the first you know, and most important thing in our life. And our desires, you know, should be for the Lord and not for selfish or self-centered motivations. And He will supply all our needs and give our heart's desires and, and much, much more. Because He wants us to live a, an enjoyable, rich, you know, life. Prosperous life. Rich, prosperous life. Second Corinthians chapter 1, verse 34 says, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is the Father who is full of mercy and all comfort. He comforts us every time we have trouble. So when it comes to other people having trouble, we will be able to comfort them with the same comfort that God has shown us. So that is very important because we do need to comfort other people in their time of troubles and not always be, you know, about self and have selfish, self-centered, you know, motivation. But we should care about other people 
and allow them to lean upon our shoulders when when they're going through a hard time or when they're under a, a, a spiritual attacks from Satan. They need need to be. We need to comfort them because you know God has shown us comfort and will show us how to comfort you know other people. And that's that's really important too is comforting and showing compassion for other people. I hope this message has been uh, encouraging to you or uplifting to you. Uh, thank you for watching. God bless and stay safe.